Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Notifier AFP 200 Test 9, Cosmo. So what's Cosmo mean? Well, this is a Cosmo. This is a System Sensor Cosmo 2W combination fire and, or I should say smoke and carbon monoxide detector with sounder base. Controlled by the Cosmod over here, which allows the two-wire smoke detector to communicate across different zones or points on a panel. So that's actually the uh, namesake of the test, but we can get on going to some other cool devices that we haven't seen yet. So coming down over here, we have a national time and signal, 620M pole bar pole station with a glass rod inside that we'll be breaking today. Coming up here, we have the uh, system sensor P2WLLF. This is a white low frequency horn strobe, and this will be set at, what is it? I forget what the candela is, but it's, it's pretty bright. And then if we come over here, we have the system sensor P2, P2WHLF. I get those two mixed up. Uh, Spectral Alert Advanced Low Frequency Sounder. So this preceded that, so that's the newer version of this, and this will be flashing at 135 candela. Coming down over here, we have the Notifier NBGX 101L Dual Action Key Locking Pull Station. We'll be pulling that today. Coming all the way over here, we have a System Sensor CHSR, and this is the Spectral Alert Advanced version of the Chime Strobe with uh, alert labeling, flashing at 15 candela and code 3 chime. And then coming over here, we have the Notifier uh, NBG1 uh, single action pull station. Wow, I don't know why I can't remember that one. Uh, we'll be pulling that. And then the uh, Notifier LCD80 annunciator that we'll be using today as well. So, without much further ado, oh, that was the BNG1R. Wow, I don't know why I could not remember that. That was the BNG1R, and then we have the BGX101L, and then we have the uh, National Time and Signal 620M, the P2WLLF, and then the P2WHLF, and then the CHSR over there. Okay, there's all my model numbers. And then the same Cosmod and all that, that I actually got correct. So, I think we should start this off by uh, breaking some glass. So, in three two, one. Oh, wow. Oh, it's making the wall creak. Then we'll go ahead and do a system silence. That was really, really hard to pull. So let's uh, go ahead and try to get all the glass out of this and reset it. Try and knock all that out as much as possible, get the glass out. I think that's all of it. So to uh, reset that actually, it's just uh, open it up and move the T-bar back to its uh, normal position. It's just actually a, a momentary, oops, toggle switch. So we'll do that again. You just close the T-bar, push it up, and it will reset the switch. Kind of hard to do one-handed. You stay up there, T-bar. It doesn't like to stay when there's no glass rod in it. I was actually super lucky to get this new one box. That's why it's in uh, such great condition. All right, then we can go ahead and reset
And uh, so all three devices are on a uh, system sensor sync module, which is why that one chirps at the end, but I can do two wire audible silence as well as um, having everything in sync. So let's come over here and pull the NBGX 101L. Here we go. Push and pull. silence and reset on that. I don't know why at the end every time that chirps I think it's because it's sort of a uh, outdated module because if uh, I do silence using selective silence let the strobes keep going but then I re-alarm the point before resetting the pole or the panel that and that are out of sync with each other so that's my guess because it's an L series in advance. So let's come over here and do the BNG1R. All right, now to do uh, the fun stuff, which is Cosmod. Uh, so we're going to be uh, solo testing it for the uh, smoke side, and then we're going to be CO gas testing it for the carbon monoxide side using um, some solo C6 uh, carbon monoxide detester and then a uh, smoke saber to do the smoke side. So let's do the smoke side. I hope with that, yep. So as you can see, the uh, status lights of the detector match the status lights on the module, and you can hear that the sounder is going in uh, temporal three. And there is an option on this module to wire it up to have the sounder go off whenever uh, these alarms go off. So if a pole station's pulled, that detector sounder will go off. But I didn't want to do that, so it only goes off when uh, the uh, local alarm goes off. So then we can go ahead and reset it. So we'll just reset it the panel. Which then shuts down the module, which then uh, shuts down the detector. So we'll give uh, the detector, it takes about... Uh, 30 to 45 seconds to boot up. You'll see uh, the LEDs flash. Well, this camera doesn't pick it up. I hope it starts to boot up. There it goes. I guess we'll give it a sec to do that. So uh, the way to test this with testing uh, with canned CO2 is you actually have to put it in test mode first or else it won't pick up the uh, stuff in the can. I don't really know the chemistry behind it, but you actually have to tell it to look for the stuff in the can. So you do have to hit a test button up here, um, but then once you shoot it with the can, the uh, base, the sounder base will do temporal four, the blue light will light up, and then it'll give me an active hazard alert, which is a supervisory on the AFP 200. So we uh, give a second to boot up. Okay, so we got a green light. Let's put it in the test. So we get an LED that blinks, and then we shoot some gas into it, and you can see the, there we go. So there we go. Sounder base is going, doing temporal four. We have the blue LED lit up on our module. We have an active hazard alert for CO gas detection. We acknowledge that.
And then because we were in test mode, that blue LED goes out after a while, but the bass will continue to sound until this resets. Although no, it might actually go out now that the uh, chamber's cleared out too. Yeah, okay. So this does a re, I couldn't remember if this reset in test mode or not. Cause it will reset on its own in a real life situation, but I didn't know if test mode was different. But regardless, um, all supervisors on this panel are latching, which means that even though the supervisor has cleared itself out on the field, we still have to reset the AFP 200. So we'll do a system reset. And uh, here we go. So this has been Notifier AFP 200 Test 9 Cosmo. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.